All right, guys, welcome back to Cooking with Coupel. It's great to see your beautiful faces again today. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to get right into this. Um, Chipotle, we have a problem. Hey, fool. You got a problem or what? Huh? Now, obviously, I'm using a delivery service here, but seriously, Chipotle, I paid $23.71 for just one whole 30 bowl. Jesus Christ. And it seems like most of the locations don't even have the cilantro lime cauliflower rice, so what's up with that? Don't get me wrong though, Chipotle is a solid option for anyone who's, you know, living a low-carb lifestyle. They do offer a lot of options. Just miss that cauliflower rice, man. It seems Chipotle has left me no choice. Uh, I'm gonna have to just make my own, so let's go ahead and get in the kitchen. So there's gonna be five different components to this recipe. Our marinated chicken, cilantro lime cauliflower rice, fajita veggies, pico de gallo, and our guac. They're all super quick and easy to make and the exact measurements will be listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the chicken. In a bowl, combine about two pounds of chicken thighs that have had their extra fat removed and cut into small chunks. Along with minced garlic, lime juice, vegetable oil, chili powder, cumin, smoked paprika, oregano, salt, and pepper. Don't be afraid to get in there with your hands. Don't touch me, I'm sterile. Combine them well and let that marinate for about an hour or until we can get everything else prepped. Now for our cilantro lime cauliflower rice. I'm keeping it simple by using a bag of frozen cauliflower this time. The key to cooking perfect frozen cauliflower rice is to take it directly to a pan, heat it with some oil, and cook it on medium high heat until all the moisture has been cooked off. Add the juice from one lime, some finely chopped cilantro, salt, and pepper to taste. And that's it. All right, it's pico de gallo time. So to make this, all we need to do is dice two Roma tomatoes, dice a fourth or a half of a red onion, depending on the size of them, about a tablespoon of finely chopped jalapenos, and add some finely chopped cilantro, a tablespoon of lime juice, and salt to taste. Just toss together, and there you go. Now onto the guacamole. It's so easy to make an amazing guac at home, and we're still paying extra for it at Chipotle, so I just looked it up and they're charging $2.70? I just paid $3.95 last week for six avocados, and I live in Chicago. You know how much guac you can make with six avocados? Probably three or four times more than what they're gonna give you. Damn. Anyways, in a bowl, add two ripe avocados, and with a fork or a masher, smash the living hell out of them. Smashing. Then add some diced red onion, finely chopped cilantro, lime juice, and salt to taste. You can zhuzh it up however you'd like as well. You can make it spicy with some added jalapenos, or freshen it up with some diced tomato. It's up to you, it's your guac. But yeah, that's gonna do it. Now that we have our mise en place situated, let's go ahead and cook our chicken and assemble. Heat up a cast iron skillet until it's ripping hot. Simply add your chicken and cook them through on both sides to give them that lovely sear and little charred bits. After those are all cooked, turn down your heat slightly and add about a tablespoon of oil, one sliced red bell pepper, one green bell pepper, half a red onion, salt, and pepper. I personally like to cook them just a little bit more to just soften them up a little bit. But once you're done with those, it's time to assemble. First, you'll lay down your cilantro lime cauliflower rice, followed by a generous layer of your beautifully cooked chicken, fajita veggies on one side, a little bit of shredded lettuce with your pico de gallo on top, and lastly, give yourself as much guac as you want. You deserve it. No extra charge, my dudes. So, this wasn't really meant to be a competition, but wow. There's a lot that I'm noticing here. The vegetables in the chipotle, just look how sad they are. They're just like gray. I don't know, like it's kind of, it's kind of sad, honestly. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's start with chipotle. The guac itself, much smaller diced red onion in there. It's really the only difference I'm seeing. They, they, they look fairly similar. It's good, salty, lime. That's kind of, that's kind of good guac. Let's test my guac now. They're actually pretty much on the same playing field there. Okay, let's try their fajita veggies. It's got this bitterness to it. I don't know what they did. It tastes like how it looks. Okay, let's give mine a try now. Mine are much more vibrant and colorful. Mmm, mmm, boy. God damn. Oh my god, perfectly cooked. Still a nice fresh crunch to it. Nicely cooked down. I wasn't expecting to love those so much. Oh my god. Okay. Let's find some of their chicken in this mess. Not too bad looking. Not bad, it actually has a good, I'm not sure exactly how they cook it, but it has a nice like fiery grill taste to it. It could be flame grilled. If it is, I can taste it. In that case, mine will be a little bit different, obviously. Give it a try. Hmm. I would say they're actually pretty on par with each other. All right, let's give this a bite with everything in it, and we'll do the same with mine. 
It's good. I'm not mad. I'm not gonna hate on him. Oh, I almost totally forgot the whole reason I even made this video. There it is. Cilantro, lime, cauliflower rice. Chipotle, please figure it out. Like, figure out why... Listen, cauliflower is not that expensive. I know. What do you buy? A frozen or just a fucking head of cauliflower? I don't give a fuck. Oh, this is good. Like I said, this wasn't a competition. I wasn't out to beat Chipotle. Kind of beat Chipotle. Woo! Woo! Oh, also, I specifically asked when I ordered this straight from Chipotle's website, please. I said, please include a couple more of these so I could do this. But instead, I had to use their fucking lid to do this. So, Chipotle, you're losing points here, guys. Come on. But anyways, hope you guys... En oh, shit. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all next Saturday.